Our 2020 Lance Travel Trailer is gone because we ended up trading it in on this 2023 Alliance Avenue All Access Series fifth wheel. And we want to show it to you right now. Welcome back everyone. My name is Patrick. And I'm Patty. And we are so excited to be able to show you our brand new fifth wheel today. We are here at Happy Acres Campground on our beautiful seasonal site. Right here in Angle, Indiana, our hometown. Now, what we thought we would do today is I'll give you the tour of the outside of the trailer. And then I'm gonna take you inside for a tour. So Patrick, why don't you start us off? All right, we're gonna start right over here. We have on both sides of the RV, 30 pound propane tanks. And then here we have the slam latch handles. And one thing I noticed was nice thick doors for the storage and the magnetic holds. And this is one big pass-through storage in here. Um, now it does get a little narrow on the other side. And when we get to the other side of the trailer, I'll show you why, but there's still really good storage. There's also a hookup in here. If you wanted to have like a TV and set it out and watch TV, your TV hookups there, your 110. And then right beside of this outdoor storage compartment is going to be our furnace. This trailer did come with Goodyear Endurance tires, so we're really excited to have really good tires. And then down at the door, you'll see we have a set of the More Ride stairs. Those are the ones that are gonna fold right up and sit inside the trailer for travel, and you just bring them down. I will say they are super sturdy. Now above me, you'll see we have the big electronic awning. This is a really nice size awning, and it does have the LED lights up top. And one of the things I like about this set of LED lights is even when the awning is in, those lights still work and they, they'll light you up at night. All right, we'll come around this side, the front of the RV. And like most fifth wheels, right up front, we have a big storage, which I'm already utilizing for bigger things um, like a folding table and our portable solar panel. Your batteries are right over here and you can see we have our two Battleborns already in here. You do have a switch here for um, some docking lights that will help you on the front of their RV if you're trying to hitch up at night or unhitch. And then this one does have the Kurt Rotaflex pin box on it. The front of the RV is a um, fiberglass cap. And uh, I just think it looks really nice on the alliances. I really like what they've done as far as color schemes. Coming around over here, let's go ahead and take a look at our tag. The gross vehicle weight rating on this fifth wheel is 9,995 pounds. And the unloaded vehicle weight from the factory was 78.96, so that's giving us about 2,100 pounds of cargo carrying capacity, and that was something that was really important to us. Here in this compartment is the Lippert electronic leveling system, so this does have four-point auto leveling. This is the first time we've ever had it, and so far, it's worked pretty good. Here is that other 30-pound propane tank that I was telling you about. And then on this side is the other side of the big pass-through storage. And the reason it gets narrow here, you'll notice, is this is that Nautilus water system. We have a 110 plug. This will talk me through setting it up. We have cable hookup here, for, again, for TV. Um, we have a black tank flush. And I really love this. I can actually turn the water pump on if I want from outside. That way, when I go to winterize, I'm going to do that right here, and I don't have to run in to turn on the water pump. We have our releases for um, the bathroom gray tank and also the black tank. So we pull those right here. They have kind of a nice little pan to hold the water and a place to bring your hose up. And another nice thing I like, and there is a light on this side as well, but this is something that I guess Alliance does. They give you a place to easily access everything that's behind here. So when there is a problem, and there's always going to be a problem with your RV at some point, um, they just make it easier for you to access. And then coming around the back, um, I talked about our black and gray up there. This is going to be for our galley gray. So there's a second gray tank just for the kitchen. And then our water heater is right here. As we come around the very back of the trailer, this one does have a hitch on it. I believe it's rated for 3,000 pounds of towing or 300 pounds of actual weight. We're never gonna tow with it, but we may end up putting a bike rack at some point on the back. And then I really like the fact that they give you this really sturdy ladder. I mean, this thing is very solid and it's rated for up to 300 pounds. 
And the other nice thing is they put a grab handle up top where you can grab on to help pull yourself up on the roof. And then we're back around to the front and then we have our grab handle right here along with those steps that I was talking about. One of the things I wanna point out is it is built with Asdale and I personally really like Asdale because it's a, pro a product that you really don't have to worry about having an issue with water. Um, and then the other nice thing is they put a big old sticker right on the side. They warranty their trailers for full-time RV living. We're not planning to go full-time anytime soon, but it's nice to know that they feel like their RVs are built to a standard that could withstand living in it full-time. A couple of things I wanna say before we go inside, and I'm gonna turn it over to Patty, is our trailer was built in December of 2022. And I believe that's about when they first started making the 22 ML. So if you're looking at newer ones, a couple things you're gonna notice. They are now using a different grab handle. It's one that will actually extend out and down um, because ours was one of the early ones built. They were still using this and we're actually very happy about that. We really like this fact. Another thing is inside, we noticed when we picked it up, there's no USB ports anywhere. And we know from other videos that that has been corrected. It's just that we ended up purchasing one that was one of the first ones built. And so it doesn't have, and we're finding workarounds for that. So if you go to a lot, you'll notice the grab handle probably is gonna be different and you're gonna find USB plugs throughout. So now let's have Patty take us through the inside and show us that. Come on in. Welcome. <laughs> This is the kitchen of our new camper and it's Alliance All Access, 27 foot fifth wheel. And we have all this beautiful space here in the kitchen area. We have a residential size microwave, okay, with some cookies. And then we have a stove with a nice drawer they give you down here for pots and pans and other gadgets you might need. And then a three burner cooktop you just flip back this little lid and you got three burners to cook with and it's so nice with the light wood these cabinets are magnetic okay and they are so deep in there and so tall i'm going to need a step stool and you have more above here for different little things that we're carrying Trying to put the lighter stuff up top, like napkins and so forth. Another one here. And then above the sink, some more storage. And those magnets really hold. And then underneath, we have a nice storage area underneath and enough space for a little trash can, which is nice. And then of course we have two more drawers right here that are really nice and deep and can hold a lot of materials that we need in the kitchen, our utensils and so forth. Okay, and over here we have our nice sink area. We like to, uh, when it's in one basin sink, have a little dish in here to help save with water. We even do that at our home in, the, in our cabin. This is really nice. I'm already enjoying this. It has two settings, shower, and then more of just a, um, I guess a single spray. And then over here, we have a nice spice rack where Patrick keeps his spices that he needs. And then um, we added some little hooks and things for our stuff. And then over here, we have our refrigerator. Huge, <laughs> needs more food. And our freezer. Okay, awesome. And this, I just couldn't believe this is in here. So deep storage for all of our pantry items, dog food and other items that we might need and clear down there. It's even lots of space. And then off to the living area. Okay, over here we have two nice recliners. They're wall huggers. They have a little lever in here that you can kick out and then if you push, I think it's time for a nap. <laughs> These are so comfortable. The pups already are taking that space over. And this is kind of cool. There's a little storage area in here for our remotes and things. And then two cup holders. On this side then we can look out 
with our nice dinette area. This can I be taken down and it sits on these, I guess what you call braces here, to make into a bed. And the cushions go all the way around, making it comfortable. And then of course we have another shade that we can pull here. And then of course the big windows that open to give good airflow back and forth. Another cool feature about our awesome dinette is all the storage that's underneath of it. If I pull open these doors, again, they're hooked by a magnet. There's all this storage and we have some things down there already that we want. If I wanted, I could pick up all the cushions back here and store things that you don't get to every day that you need to store for yourself. And on this side, there's another area of storage. Okay. And I think what's really cool is over here, we have areas to put your shoes when you come in. And then we right now are using this for puppy leashes and umbrellas and so forth right there. Another cool place for storage. The last really neat area for storage that we found is over here under the steps. So again, we've been putting like our shoes or flip flops or little things there that you might want to store real quick like. Definitely gonna need a step stool we have all of this storage which has hardly anything in it yet and this one goes so far back in there but the storage here is just amazing i really like the hardware the silver the white finish and then of course more storage up here and on the other side and up there we have our nice sound bar and over the weekend Patrick has it set up so that we can have our TV run through the sound bars as well as our radio for the pups. Now on to the bedroom. What's really nice are the wood trim. That's one thing Patrick and I really liked was this nice wood trim that went around a lot of the things, the areas. And then up here is our bathroom. And the shower has like a three sliding door thing and I think there's lots of space in here and this shower head is really nice I like it because there's a button on it right here that little black button so if you've got it set to what you want your temperature you can in between just hit that button and it'll stop and hold like for example when I'm shaving my legs and so forth I can stop and hold what I want the temperature I want we have it came with two hooks back here for our towels we added a little trash can and a little, um, they gave us a toilet paper holder, but we thought we would just try this out because it kind of didn't really have a place that fit for us yet. And then of course, all this storage for different things that you need to keep in your bathroom, towels and other things you need. And then you have your vanity vanity mirror all these levels of shelving there for us to use and then there's even more underneath for all of our other toiletries and things like that that we need and cleaning supplies okay and then this is cool here for privacy this is a really neat door really pretty and then back here we have a door if we need to close it and two nice big windows on each side of the emergency exit windows again you've got your pull down shades and i'm so used to grabbing that but i guess i could just be grabbing this little knob thing there on the string and then all of the different storage that we have back here for patrick and myself all the different things we added the cute little fairy lights i guess already we like that these are nice down here they're nice and big for like our phone chargers and uh, if we ever have like a cup of coffee or a drink we added that and then my side has a drawer for different things that i want to keep in there under the bed is more storage and this is actually easy for me to lift up and it's on hinges and look how deep that is <laughs> we keep just little my shoes of course and different things that we need puppy crate 
so far anyway. And then over here on Patrick's side, again, he's got the nice side table, his charger, our Wuzu, and then more storage over here for different things. And last but not least, the wardrobe. We've got a nice wardrobe cabinet in here. It's got a nice bar. We're probably going to add, like, we have our little hanging lights, but we might add a puck light. We've got our hamper that we want to use in there. I think there's going to be plenty of room for our things. And three more drawers. And these are even with anything in them yet. So I just think it's so nice the way this wood, we like that. Um, I think our other camper was just so dark, we wanted to go light. So it's just so nice and sleek and clean, which is how I like it. Now I'm going to have Patrick tell you a few of the technical things inside our camper. Thanks, Patty. Um, yeah, and like Patty said, we love the trailer. A couple technical things that I'll share with you is, first off, ours came with the optional second AC um, here in the bedroom. And already after a week of ownership, we're actually really glad that we have it. The two ACs are both 13.5 BTU ACs and working together, they are awesome. We actually find them to be quiet and they do a really good job. We've had some really hot weather here in Northeast Indiana and they have kept us nice and cool. I've also read that because they went with these two 13.5 BTU ACs, you can theoretically run them both off of 30 amp service. Another neat thing that we like in here is you'll notice there are some air ducts. That's because the main AC came ducted back to both the bedroom and the bathroom. Um, so we're still getting that airflow and then we add in this one. Another nice feature that we like from a technical standpoint point is the residential can lighting that they use in here. It just gives it more of that homey feel. Um, the light switches are these tap lights. You just push a button just like that. Just put your finger on it and they are dimmable. You just hold them to make it brighter and when you're ready to bring them down just continue to hold and it'll bring that lighting down. And we have that type of lighting here in the bedroom, out in the living room, and also in the slide out. Now to control the AC here in the bedroom, they have located the thermostat right around the corner so we can control just this AC right here. Now in the bathroom, they have one of these nicer fans. Now I think a lot of people will look at this and say, wow, that's a really small fan, but this is actually a nice fan because we can have this open and running even if it's raining out. And for the bathroom, we already have found this fan is gonna be perfect. The thermostat for the main AC is right over here on the wall and we can control this AC from here. Now one of the things that we found interesting in this RV is it's ducted to the bathroom and the bedroom. It is not ducted out here and we were really concerned about the noise. We were completely shocked the first time we turned it on just how quiet this air conditioning unit is not being ducted out here. And Alliance says they do that because it's more efficient and will keep the uh, RV cooler. Another nice feature that came on this RV is a max air fan. The control for it is right here on the wall. There are four different speeds. You can turn it off and then you can either have the vent open or close. Now, if we wanna use this in the rain, we will have to put some kind of cover on it because this is not a max air fan deluxe, but it is a max air fan, which we really like. Unfortunately though, another thing that we don't like about it is it only takes air out where with the Max Air Fan Deluxes that we had in our Lance, you could switch which way you were having the air come in. The refrigerator that Patty showed you already is a 12 volt refrigerator. And the great thing about a 12 volt refrigerator is it gives you more space because there's none of those coils in the back like you normally see on a regular style um, propane electric refrigerator. And so it just gives us more space um, internally and we really do like that. With the 12 volt though, it means it's going to be running off of our batteries. Eventually we'll get some solar panels on top so that we can keep those batteries charged going down the road because obviously the refrigerator will be running off of those batteries. The control panel is right here when you walk in on the dinette side and they go ahead and use the traditional rocker switches. So there's nothing to hook our smartphone up to and Bluetooth with. Alliance just keeps it simple. Um, but something I want to point out is our water heater is a traditional uh, electric gas water heater. It's not a tankless water heater on this particular unit. 
we can turn our water pump on right here and then we have tank heaters on this trailer so if we want to go out in the winter like we like to do we just flip a switch and that's going to turn those blankets on on our water tanks uh, to help keep them from freezing we can test things like how much fresh water do we have on board our batteries our black tanks and gray tanks and things like that just by the push of a button and then up here we can turn on the hallway lights going up to the bedroom and we can turn on the LED light for the awning um, the awning is controlled right here we can put the awning out and this one you do have to hold it to go out and you have to hold it to bring it back in it's not like one of those one touch like we had on our Lance and finally our slide room control is right up here and the one of the reasons we really like this trailer was the slide out is a rack and pinion system and we feel like that's the best type of slide out for this size of slide and so that's how this one is controlled now one of the big questions a lot of you have had is what happens when the slide out is in so we're going to show you So as you can see, one of the downsides to this particular floor plan is when the slide out is in, your bathroom and bedroom are inaccessible. However, you can still use the dinette if you wanna have a bite of lunch and you can get to your refrigerator and your freezer. So there you go, that's our brand new fifth wheel. We're gonna be hitting the road soon for four weeks and throughout the summer, we'll bring you all kinds of videos, not only of us traveling in our new Alliance, but also sharing with you the things we love about it and things we maybe don't like so much about it or things we had to change. Now, if you didn't see our video where we picked up this trailer, I'm gonna have Patty just pop it right up there for you so <laughs> you can watch it next. And until next time, everybody, we'll see ya. On down the road, bye.